Hello everyone, welcome back to the Scratch Programming and today we are going to cover 13 topic that is Sensing Blocks. Okay, so Sensing Block is having many blocks uh, altogether there will be 20 blocks. So we will be covering first 10 blocks today and uh, rest of the blocks tomorrow. So let's start. So these are the Sensing Blocks. Okay, so the Sensing Blocks allow the programs to sense when the user inputs happen okay like uh, from the keyboard or from the mouse okay so it's it provides the uh, sprite the ability to sense when something happens okay happens like when user gives some input or if uh, we make our program to adjust itself according to the user's input okay so these are the 10 blocks that we are going to cover today so let's begin with the first so you see with its structure that it's a boolean block so whenever there is a boolean block it will be working boolean means true or false okay so if that something is true then something will happen so most of the time they will be hap they will be working with if because if is a control block that always work with the condition if the condition is true okay so this is a boolean block and we are using it with a control block something will happen only when the mouse pointer is going to touch okay and what will happen whatever we will keep inside this block okay so let's see how this works so let's uh, put some functioning here so it will be touching the mouse pointer so let's use the mouse pointer let's make it move this and point toward mouse pointer if this will touch the mouse pointer then let's say it should change its color change color effect by 25 okay so now you understand that how it is going to happen so we will put this in forever block and we will put a this hard block here so this is our script okay so let me explain quickly once again we our uh, sprite will be moving wherever my, my mouse pointer will move and the moment my mouse pointer will touch the sprite or sprite will touch the mouse pointer so this thing will happen until it's not touching it this thing is not going to happen okay so only these this part will be executed so let's see how this works so see this is chasing my mouse pointer the moment it will touch the mouse pointer what will happen it should change its color so you see this is how this work so you notice the sensing block sends the mouse pointer touch now the next is this has uh, sorry this has three options with it so when mouse pointer is touching or it is working with edge so the moment it will hit the edge yes it's hitting the edge then this color will change until it will not hit the edge its color is not going to change you just notice how it's how it works so see it touch the edge of the stage so its color is changing now it's not touching so its not color is not changing you see you just notice now got it so the touching of edge is sensed and color is changing means what's happening this condition is becoming true to make this if statement work okay so i think you are clear with these two okay and it has one more option let me clear that also in case you put a sprite uh, one more sprite here let's say this donut is there on the stage and now i have one more option that the moment my sprite will touch the the moment you will get one more sprite here you will get one more option here so the donut has come here so now while moving here and there if the sprite touches this other sprite then it colors will change now see it's not changing okay got it now the next is sensing the color now we don't need this let's delete it now the next is touching the color in case my sprite is going to touch this color this will happen you just see how different different boolean statements we are having here okay it's not that the same thing is executing same thing is executing on the basis of different kinds of blocks here okay so the first was touch of the mouse to so see it's sensing the touching of the mouse in the second it is it's going to sense the color okay so let's choose some other uh, sprite now let's choose this 
so we have this color here now you just notice i have this sky blue color here if this sprite this sprite will touch the blue color then this color effect is going to change also let's uh, put something else here change the size by 4 okay so this it, this time it's not going to change the color it's is going to change the size okay so now let's see how this works now but the color chosen here is blue so i want to change the color i'll click here on this box you just notice wherever my mouse pointer is moving it is choosing that particular color got it but what color we need to choose we need to choose this color so i'll come here and i'll click here okay now it, it has chosen the color now let's see how this works size will change when it will touch this color let's see got it see so this is how this works now the size has grown too much so we can bring this block here and put 100 value here and press and click on this so we can bring it back to the original size now you see the first two options okay now let's delete this now the next option we are having here is this color this is touching this color okay now something of this color will touch this color so let's choose another sprite from here let's choose let's choose this button or uh, some other let's choose this dinosaur so now our script is here now this color will choose this so our sprite we have written a script for this uh, sprite so the color options are not correct right now so i need to change the color i will click here and go to the cat and make it brown when the brown color will touch the purple but it's not purple it's blue so we will click here and come here and choose the blue color so now when this will touch this then something will happen let's make it stamps so the moment it will touch the dinosaur let's reduce the size of dinosaur it's very big okay so the moment it will touch the dinosaur what will happen the stamps will be created so let's see how this works click here you see it's touching and the stamps are created again now like this so this is how this sensing block works now the next is distance to mouse pointer so it has created mess so let's clear it now distance sensing long distance to mouse pointer or dinosaur okay now if this is a you see these three were boolean blocks and this is a report block so it is not going to fit you just see the shape here provided so some boolean block will fit here okay so let's choose from operator if the distance to the mouse pointer is less than let's say 20 if the distance between let's say down dinosaur let's choose dinosaur if the cat's distance from the dinosaur is less than 20 then stamps will be created or let's say it will it will change the color okay so if the distance is less than 20 then the color effect is going to change so this is a report block which is used in the uh, this um, this is a report block and this is used with this hexagonal block what is it called it is called boolean block okay so let's see how this works so distance is still not less than 20 so let's make it more close it will change when the distance is less than 20 you saw just notice okay so this is how this block work the moment you stop it it will change the color back now let's see again got it so this is how this report block work with the uh, this pull-in block i hope you are very much clear with this okay so the next block is ask ask some question and wait for the reply and whatever reply you are going to give it it will be storing in this variable answer that you can display here okay yes no okay whatever whatever is your answer it will be stored here okay so 
now let's write a script for this we can write a simple script uh, asking a question and storing a reply so let's use this block if then do this so if it's asking question can I go to the party today so it's asking a question can I go to the party so it will ask if the answer is yes just I'm just giving you example you can write the script the way you want if the answer is yes it will say yeah to show his happiness and and it will say yeah and it will move and uh, it will be very happy and we can show the next costume okay so let's see how this happens we will storing the answers here so whatever it's already showing the answer let's let's take first let's take first answer we don't check this so let's see so can I go to the party today let's say no what happens now it's not doing anything because condition is not fulfilled if the answer is yes then only this will happen so now let's ex execute it again so can I go to the party asking again like you ask your mother again and again okay so yes so I'll press this button yeah okay so it's moving so uh, it's not moving now Let, I forgot to put a forever block here so let's put a forever block here now let's do it again let's ask till yes again and execute it again now it's happy and going okay now you have understood how this works now the next block is when the key is pressed whatever you will whatever key you are going to press or select select whatever key you are going to select and then press then the action will be followed so let's check it I'm going to put a forever block first of all and then as if block this condition will go in if block and what I want to happen when the key is pressed I want to create change the pen color and create stamps okay this action I want when I press the space key and this should keep happening not not only once but it should keep happening and I need a green flag here I'll put here and I'll start like this Okay, let me create a uh, stamps only. When arrow key is pressed, you see, I have chosen up arrow. Now I want space. Now if I'll press space, then this will happen. If I want to put this rotation here, I can do so. Okay, now I press. now I want this to happen again and I'll press this and I will press the space key got it you see what has happened whatever key I'm going to choose with the help of that it's going now now I have chosen D now the D key is pressed and this is happening so this is how this works sensing block when key is pressed and mouse is down now the next condition is when the mouse is down okay now everything happened now everything happened here is when any key from the keyboard keyboard is pressed okay now I want something to happen when the mouse is pressed mouse is pressing somewhere okay the moment my mouse will point uh, mouse pointer will click anywhere this is going to happen anywhere if I'm going to click not only in the stage but anywhere okay so 
this happens once it is initiated anywhere if my mouse is clicking this is very interesting when you are when you are going to have games then you can change it so i hope you are clear with these blocks so we will be covering the rest of the blocks tomorrow okay so keep practicing and uh, just practice more and more more you'll practice more you will be uh, becoming very much familiar with these blocks so that, that's very important so god bless you all and take care